Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In the last tutorial, I taught you guys how to implement the hand-to-hand -hand combat system into our script, which was a ray shoot script, and it worked out pretty damn good. And um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a simple uh, gun management system. This will allow you to throw your gun away and pick it back up. But the problem is, the gun management system is going to be very basic right now, because I only have one gun, which is the M4, but as soon as I get more models, I'll come back to the gun management system and spice it up a bit. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate your M4. Now I don't recommend you do that from a hierarchy because that's going to screw around your screw around with your original gun. So for example, if I copy this now and paste it down here, and if I change things on it, it's going to also change this. We don't want that. So what I recommend you do is look for the folder that you imported that has your guns, and select the M4 from there. Then drag that onto the screen. It's pretty big. I'll resize that. Not a problem. I'm just going to go on the Y axis so I can resize that quickly. Alright, I think that's okay. I'm just going to drag an extra my player to make sure that's the same size. Yeah, it looks alright to me for now. Just drag it on a bit more. Alright. Uh, you don't want the arms, so you can delete those. Well, you don't want this pair of arms as well. I don't need some texture things on here. Let me just maximize the screen. Don't need that one. I don't need that one too. Alright, so once you've done that, go back into the hierarchy mode, select your gun. Now you see there's a object called Object 01 and there's Plane 3 and 4. These are the only three things I need. So I'm going to drag plane 3 and 4 into object 1. I'm going to drag or well, rename object 4 to M4A1. Like so. Then I'm going to drag it out of here. And then I'm going to delete this M4A1, which was a place um, which was a hold for the object itself. So I only have the mesh left. Then I'm going to go to component, physics, rigid body. Then I'm going to go to physics again and add a box collider to it this time. Now the box collider is pretty thin so I'm going to have to expand it out on the z-axis. Still a bit too big. That's alright. And then I'm going to tag this as M41. Like that. And that's it. And then what you got to do is you got to create a new prefab and uh, you can call this M4A1Fab, short for prefab. It's important that you remember that name. And then drag the M4A1 into that. And you can delete that one. Alright, that's the first part done. Now the next thing is, we have to set up a instantiation point for the gun. Because system won't know where it's gonna fly out from so the best thing you could do for that is go create a empty game object and you can see currently it's facing the wrong axis the Z is facing the wrong way uh, just on the Y just put 180 as you flip it around and drag it somewhere close to his right arm the reason I'm dragging it to the right arm is because my animation is set with the right arm and that's that's okay that, that's fine for me yeah but the gun's gonna fly out from here and rename that object to oops, throw pause short for position and then drag that onto the main camera like so okay brilliant now I've got the basic setup now let's go script this bad boy so the first thing you want to do is we want to find the wearables we need oops wrong script Okay, let's go to the very top. I'm going to zoom the script in so you can see the code. It's a bit too much. Alright, here we go. The first ones we need are the directions. So I'm going to say, okay, far, pick up direction. This will be for the pick up direction on the raycast. And it's going to be a vector 3.
Then the next one's going to be for throw direction. What direction we're going to throw it in. Always it's going to be the forward one. And also, once again, it's a vector 3. And that's it, joking. This one is far. M4 no. And it's going to be a type boolean. This is going to be a very important variable. Now, I'm not going to get into this right now, but when the script is finished, I can explain it to you properly. But without this, the gun management won't work for the M4 nor any other gun. Alright, so that's the next one. Then for throw speed, like so, and it's going to be a float, and I'm going to give it a value of 150. The next one's going to be for throw position, which was the object we made outside. And it's going to be a game object. Next one's going to be for M4 A1 fab, which is the prefab we just made. And it's going to be a game object as well. And that's the variables we need. Brilliant. So let's go create the functions needed to make this work. Okay, the first function we need is function um, gun pick up manage gun pick up manage system. Yeah, that sounds right to me. And open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, and close this function off. The next one's gonna be function. throw gun system open bracket close bracket open curly brace and closing curly brace now let me quickly explain what these two are going to be doing this function over here is going to be used for picking up our guns this function over here is going to be used to throwing the guns away so the first function we're going to start coding is function throw gun away so Let's start by making a simple yield function, yield, a yield command, sorry. So, yield, wait four seconds, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon, 0 0.6. Now, let me explain why we're doing a little timer here, because I have an animation before the, for my player. Before he throws the gun away, he plays a simple animation, and it takes literally about 0 0.6 seconds for the animation to end, and then the player is going to throw the gun away. So you can have your own time set there, depending how long your animation is. Okay, so the next part is to do the instantiation. So we're going to say for M4, oops, M4 clone, and it's obviously going to be equal to instantiation. So. Like so, open bracket, close bracket, closing semicolon, and what are we going to instantiate? And that's the M4 prefab. So we called it M4. It's got to be somewhere here. Where is it? M4A1 fab. Okay. Where are we going to instantiate this? And that's at the throw position. Dot transform. Dot position. Comma. Throw position. Oops, so, yeah, it's a capital P. Dot transform dot rotation. Okay, super. Now we need to add force to this object so it flies out. So I'm going to say M4 clone dot rigid body. So we're going to look for the rigid body on the object. And then we're going to try to add some force to that. So we're going to say add force at position. Okay, then open bracket, close bracket. And we're going to say 
what direction we're going to force in, and that's going to be throw throw direction times throw speed. Now, at the moment, throw direction hasn't been set yet. We're going to have to do that in gun pickup management system. So don't worry about that. Just write down what you're seeing. Comma, throw direction. Pass that done. Underneath this line, we're going to say hand with m4 dot active equals false. Hand to hand model dot active equals true. Now, the reason to this is pretty simple. When we chuck our gun away, and considering we only have one gun, which is the m4 we want something else to happen so in this case we want the hands to show up so you go into fist fist mode so you can punch bad guys rather than shooting them until but if you have a secondary gun when i do get to that if we have a secondary gun and we throw a gun away the guns are going to switch to the secondary gun 